Hi, fourth graders. Yesterday, we practiced doing a sensory word hunt where we noticed sensory words in our reading and strong words in our reading. So today, here is an excerpt from chapter 18 in the Secret Zoo. I want you to notice some of the strong words and sensory words that Brian Chick uses to help us visualize. Notice that all the words I highlight today are not necessarily in your sensory word flip book. Let's take a look. Ella didn't dare move. Mud oozed between her fingers and seeped into her pants and shoes. It was too dark to see the animal, but she could hear its gravelly grunts and feel the heat rising from its skin. Then it snorted and a burst of snap pushed her head aside. Ella was sitting up. She could faintly see the movement to her left. Richie, he was writhing in a, the mud, mumbling something. Let's look at some of the sensory words I noticed. The first one is oozed. That's a little bit more descriptive than just went through her fingers. Okay. Another sensory word is seeped. It's, it's a verb and it's a stronger verb than just got in her pants and shoes. Okay. The next one is gravelly. That word is an adjective that describes grunts. So gravelly grunts. It kind of helps me um, hear it a little differently. Okay. Here's another one, burst of snot. That burst of snot kind of gives me a bigger picture that maybe it's just not slobber, but like it's pretty forceful and gross. So that is descriptive as well. Then it says she could faintly see. Okay. Faintly describes how she can see that. And so faintly means barely, so you know she's really struggling to see. And last we have the word writhing. So that lets me know that he's really squirming and he just can't get away out of the mud. Um, and that's a strong verb as well. So these are some examples of some sensory words or strong words that help me visualize as I read. Today in your practice, you are going to read another excerpt of The Secret Zoo. And you are going to drag the yellow box, just like I did, over examples of sensory words or strong words that the author uses. Good luck today.